these on. These ones. These ones. These ones. These ones. These ones. These ones. ones and these ones hello and welcome my name is Eddie this is my beautiful wife Melinda together we're known as Hustle and Hooks we are part-time plus resellers, and this is another installment of what sold over the weekend. That's right. Here's a hint. It's a lot of shoes. So this weekend started off really strong. Friday, we had over $600 in sales, so we were off to another really great start. Saturday, also a great day, about $500 in sales. Yep. Sunday, today, has just been almost crickets. Yeah. So we're still waiting on people to just get their butts back inside, sit on the computer, and buy some stuff. For sure. But it's still been a good weekend. Those two days, uh, so far we've made about $1,200 just between two days. So we're still feeling really good about that. Uh, it's been a lot of shoes. Obviously, a couple of other things always thrown in, in there. Thrown in there. Yeah, we sold some pots and pans, some yeah. random stuff. We'll show you everything we sold. I just wanted to remind people too that stimulus check looks like it's going to be clearing within the next few days for most Americans if they qualified for it. This is a great opportunity for you guys to get your stuff listed because people are going to have an influx of cash and if we know anything about people with an influx cash, they yeah, love America. to spend it. So let them spend it on your stuff. So we're definitely focused in the next couple of days to get as much up as possible to collect some of that stimulus our way. So let's uh, let's go through it. We'll alternate. Uh, Monda will start this time with the shoes and then we'll just go back and forth, show you guys what we sold, what we paid for it, and then uh, we'll see if we can sneak in a couple of packing tips and we'll go through the numbers at the end. So we've picked all the shoes. Ta-da! And they we, are. we actually sold even more, but we've already shipped some on Friday. So yeah. we'll sort through these and uh, we'll be right back. shoes we have been saying shoes have been flying for us that's a combination of a couple things one we have been making a concentrated effort to list more of our shoes more consistently so that does definitely play into it also the weather and the season it's always athletic shoe season but this year people are just anxious to sort of get outside and get a little bit more outside time so without further ado we do have one pair that we did already ship they are a pair of Under Armour. They were new with tags. They were size 18 and they were bright neon yellow. There should be a picture of them right here. And those sold on Posh for an offer of 40. Very happy with that. That's a very large size. So a very small amount of the population is going to be looking for bright neon shoes in a size 18. So they made the offer, so they paid shipping. And again, very happy with that. Also, just a reminder that on average, we pay about $6 per pair of shoes. That's an average. There were a couple pairs that sold this weekend that an anonymous viewer did give gift to us to sell for free. So that person knows who they are and thank you again, as always. 
and our Goodwill prices are still very reasonable. So even the more expensive ones don't really top $10. So everything averages out to $6. We also sold these Doc Martens. Doc Martens is a great brand if you see them. They're heavy duty, they're chunky, uh, just a good look that's in right now. They're in awesome condition. They were a little scuffed up, but we put some leather lotion on there and they just look really good. Just some normal wear signs on there. These we took an offer of $45 on Posh. These Brooks, also Posh. Uh, we've had these for a little bit, not a really long time. Um, they are a wide size, so they're nine wide. Again, good treads, especially for Brooks. And this is a very classic colorway of theirs. A lot of their shoes come in this. These were an offer of 30 on Posh. These sold very quickly. We have these up for less than a week. They are Nike, they're the Flex Training 7. Just a great neutral with a pop of color. They sold for 24 Posh. Also sold these Nike sequins. Again, another listed them, sold within a week. These bright colors, especially if they're tied in with a neutral color, they tend to move pretty quick for us. And these are just really awesome condition, great colorway. Posh again for $30. We also sold a pair of Mizunos that we've had for a really long time. It, we've had them for so long, we haven't found them yet. So they're tucked away with some old inventory somewhere. So we're going to dig those out. I had them for a two for 25 deal. Someone made an offer 15. They were going to pay shipping. Of course, just get them out the door at that point. Happy to make anything on those. Okay. And then on to shoes that sold on eBay, these new balance. Uh, so just looking at them, you'd kind of write them off as just like basic walking shoes, but these sold for $65 and that includes $13 for new inserts. So we got the inserts because obviously they didn't have any when we bought them. Our buy cost was low and the sell price of these was at that high range. So we felt it was worth the investment to get top dollar and they did sell again, $65. These Timberlands, Timberlands is a very good bread and butter brand for us. They always get a lot of watchers, a lot of likes out the gate, and they generally sell pretty quick too. One thing that we have found is we will list them. We see a lot of these boy sizes. So these are a boy size six. We tend to see a good amount of the boys, uh, young youth sizes in our Goodwill for Timberlands. And we like to pick them up because with youth, they outgrow their shoes really quickly, which is how they end up in Goodwill in such awesome condition. And you can tell just by looking at it, this is a bigger shoe. So always check the size chart. These were also sold as a woman's size seven, according to their size chart. And usually when I do that, I will take a snapshot, a screenshot of the company's sizing chart so they can see for themselves that the boy's size six does relate equally to a woman's size seven. So these sold on eBay for $40. These Keens sold and Keen is a great brand. Now these did have a flaw. Adine actually didn't pick these up right away because they do have this rip on the collar and normally we would not pick these up, but we checked the comps, we saw where they were selling at and then we checked the rest of the shoe. Now everything except those collars is in awesome condition. There's no major areas of wear down on the treads at all. They are clean on the inside. The wording hasn't been worn down on the inside, which is a good sign. Um, it's really just maybe somebody probably just in and out of the shoe without untying the laces and a lot of friction there. So we just bumped down the price so somebody could get a good deal. We disclosed it even in the title. So it stood out. We were not hiding this fact. We get close-ups of those flaws and they still sold for $38. These Lacoste didn't have these for very long. They sold for $36 on an offer this weekend and really good condition. Just kind of a classic preppy shoe with the Lacoste hit on the side there and the name right on the tongue. 
Then this last pair sold on Facebook Marketplace has the camo hit. Again, these were quick sellers. These are Asics Gel Scram for, and they sent us an offer via message. We made a deal for $40. We would pay shipping on that. And then the last pair are these Merrill. Merrill, again, great brand. We sell it regularly, really good condition. There was a little area of wear on them that I pointed out just kind of back here, but that's not really major. And these are walking shoes. These aren't, I'm gonna go to the gym and I need really good arc support because I'm gonna be doing lunges type of shoes. They're very cute, awesome condition. They, these sold for $29 on eBay. So that's it for the shoes. Adine's gonna come back and go over some other goods that sold this weekend. Recently I made two big bulk CD buys and one of them had over 300 CDs. The other one had like 100 CDs. And the reason I did that is because I recognize a lot of really popular artists like hip hop artists, Jay-Z, Eminem, then a lot of like Nirvana, Incubus, uh, Pantera, Metallica, a lot of these huge names. So CDs by themselves typically don't have a lot of values, but you can easily scan them to figure out what the average price is for used CDs on eBay or whatever platform you're selling on. But most of the time, they're only worth between $3 and $5 a copy, and that just does not fit our business model. So what we did is we laid them all out and we put them into lots by artist and then all the ones that we only have one or two of then we'll put those by genre of hip-hop or rock or heavy metal whatever it may be so about 25 cents per cd and three lots or three sales this weekend for cds so the first one uh, was the most valuable cd i found it's uh, jay-z reasonable doubt in mint condition uh, this one I actually did test. It's a very common question. Do you guys test all your CDs? The answer is no. We do a visual inspection. If they have deep scratching, we just get rid of them. And of course, if they look like they have a little bit of scratching, they usually are fine. And the price on them are so low that we can afford to just do a refund if a customer is not happy with them. And so far, we've not had any issues. This Jay-Z copy sold for $28 shipped by itself. The nice thing about CDs, they're media. They can ship media mail for really cheap. In this case, it'll be $2.89 to ship it. And we build that into the price, of course. The other one that sold was Incubus, three albums from Incubus. Um, and all of them, I did a generic sentence. Some of the cases may have damage. Some of the CDs may have light scratching. So that way, when I did my description, I just copy pasted all of them because I don't want to go through and describe the condition of each one and say, well, this album has a little bit of a crack or something like that. So in general, you're going to notice that some of these have blemishes. This lot sold for $16 shipped. So again, 75 cents to 16 shipped, $3 to ship it, about $2 in fees. Leaves us roughly $10 profit, which is not bad because this did not take a lot of work at all. So for us, if we have enough volume, like in this case, we have a few hundred CDs, then it's worth it to do these little um, bundles because it's easy money. Pantera is another one that sold. This is actually sold on Instagram. I did post a few of them on our Instagram story. I've sold some already. Uh, not on this weekend sales record, but we did this past week sell a bunch of hip hop ones for $40 shipped, 10 of them for $40, which is a really good deal for both parties. So Pantera, three CD CDs, again, $15 shipped. Next up, clothing, one piece, uh, this pink, these are like joggers, um, stretchy, you know, I don't know, what are these, sweatpants, whatever, women's clothing stuff, $30 out the door, lightweight, this will ship for about three bucks, and then whatever this thing is, I don't know, if you, I think you put it around your neck, maybe, I don't know, some, I'm not really sure, but these strings attached to this larger, this sold for $25 shift, I don't know what this is. <laughs> It'll be up here. Uh, and then some video games. These, we have about a dollar into each. These came from a huge bulk buy. Uh, we only have a few games left. This is Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Pinball, and Sonic 2. Uh, these, all three of them sold for $25 shipped. Again, not a lot of value selling them individually, so we bulk them up. And then the last one I'm going to cover, oh, I'm sorry, two more I'm going to cover. This projector is one of them. We got this from the, like, way early on when we bought somebody's store out, which basically means I answered a, a Facebook Marketplace ad. A guy didn't want to do eBay anymore. I ended up buying all of his inventory for $100, and there was one Munster car from the TV show, I think, or movie. That sold for $75 plus shipping, like, 
nine months ago so that basically covered the vast majority we, we have less than a dollar into this it doesn't work this projector um the fast forward doesn't work on it i don't remember let me see if i can figure out how to open it there it is so besides that it's in really nice condition it's a uh wards 809 duo 8 reel to reel it's it's a really cool piece of equipment it does work you know the the light bulb does work everything else besides the fast forward works on here so we sold it for parts for 37 dollars uh, shipped and it'll ship probably for about 12 to 14 bucks so again less than a dollar into it pretty happy with that this board game came from a private pick of gentlemen that actually reached out to us for the second time which is awesome and like Monda explained in our last what sold video when we do these private picks we tend to pay up for stuff because we want people's continuous business and hey look the same guy we bought a huge toy collection for called us back again for some random stuff including this vintage 1968 USA made score four game this sold pretty quickly within about 15 days for $35 ship and it'll ship for about eight bucks I'm going to hand it back to Monda. She's going to cover some housewares and we'll go from there. So before we go over the housewares, which is something that's pretty steady and pretty regular for us, we went over those shoes and CDs, which have both been selling very well for us. Just curious, what has been selling for you lately? Is there a category that's selling well? Are you selling a lot of shoes? Has Facebook Marketplace taken off for you and you're selling everything on there? We're very curious. We're generally wanting to know what trends are you following right now? Let us know in the comments below. Now for the stuff that sells semi-regular for us. This, we went over the projector. This is an actual screen. Uh, we'll pop it up here-ish. Uh, and uh, just really cool, you know, like those old teacher ones you kind of see. They pull it down and do the equations on or whatever you have. Um, yeah, so we have $10 into this. Kind of awkward, but we're just gonna put the label on this box and ship it in that. So this sold for $50 and we have $10 into it. We sold the last lot of our sewing patterns. I know a lot of people, at least on Instagram, are pretty skeptical and we're wondering if these actually sell. We picked the, these up, that whole big lot of them for 40 bucks, maybe two weeks ago at the max. And this is, we had four lots. This is the last one to sell. It went on an offer for $36, and we have $10 into it. This is a Moulinet La Machine 2 part, just the blade, and we have less than a dollar into this part specifically, and it sold for $15. This is a fun one. This is a, a pretty small copper on the outside pot. We picked this up at the first estate sale that we went to this year. When we got there, all the stuff we had basically gone there for was gone, but there was still a lot of good stuff that we picked up. We've sold most of it already. We're already into the profit. This little guy was $4. I found a little brand in here. Should we see if it'll focus? pretty doubtful but we yeah can try. it probably won't focus but Hold this at least you can see sort of the area I found it yeah, and won't. when I looked it up the other ones did have the lids this one didn't uh, we did take an offer of 50 on this they asked us if it was tin lined and I don't know so we told them that we're not sure we really don't want to commit to answers that we don't know about someone sent us money yeah someone sent us money <laughs> Thanks, someone. And because we don't want to put ourselves in that position where we're wrong if we don't know. So it's always a good idea if you don't know the answer to something, be honest about that. They still bought it. They still, they came in with 40 and they still accepted our counter 50 for it. Uh, and this is probably something they know a little bit more about. So if we were to say yes and then they get it and it's not, you know, that's item not as described at that point. So you can always direct people. We have done this too. We can say, check out their website, check out the sizing charts here. And we do sometimes direct them to resources to give them the answer if we're not confident that we can give the right answer. So keep that in mind if you do get questions like that. 
Okay, so next is classic pots and pans. These are Kelphalon. We do not normally pick up Teflon. The reason is because by the time they make it to Goodwill, there's a lot of scratching on them. These, however, were still in awesome condition. A couple light scratches, but nothing severe, nothing where it was breaking the surface or if you were cooking, you were gonna get Teflon mixed in with your food. We definitely avoid that. So we have $9 into both of these and we sold them as a set for $50. We also sold this pot. This is also a Calphalon. We got this. I picked this up on a marketplace deal. I paid 40 for everything. So we allotted $5 into this piece. We're already in the profit on that set. And the top is kind of cool. It's actually inverted. So it sits in there like that with the rim down, which is very interesting. And it also locks in on the sides, which I hadn't seen before. So it was just a cool piece. And we sold this for $48. And then lastly, we sold this Oster blender. Blenders have been selling very well for us, actually. We have sold, this is our third one just in this week alone. Uh, it's not vintage, but it does have sort of that retro style with the chrome. And it just has the one switch here, up and down, so two speeds. Definitely nothing fancy, it just has a cool look to it. It has the glass pitcher. Just a great style, great blender brand, Oster. We sold that for $58.50. And we picked it up for $7, so not bad. Always look at blenders at your Goodwill. We did just make a couple more sales, so Adina's gonna jump back in, cover those, and we'll also put in a packing tip as well. So if you're not following us on Instagram, we are super, super, super close to get into 10,000 followers or friends on Instagram. And when we get there, we get the feature of swiping up in our stories, which is fantastic. So we can clearly communicate when we have new content on YouTube. So if you have not, please do go over on Instagram, tell your mom, dad, friend, sister, brother, cousin, your whole family, create 17 different accounts, follow us there so we can get to 10K, we'd really appreciate it. We did. We do share a ton on there, our day-to-day -day adventures. We also share where we pick something up and oftentimes when people are interested, they just shoot us a question or buy directly off of Instagram. So we did make another sale, this Mario uh, Galaxy, just sold for the Nintendo Wii for $25. And we share exactly what we paid for stuff and what we sold it for. And there's so many people that are super supportive there and we truly do appreciate you guys. So this is going out the door. And then while we were filming, another set of CDs sold. This is Seven Dust. This sold on an offer for $27 or $28, not 100% sure. Um, six CDs, again, by the group. They do tend to sell. And again, 25 cents into them. So we got $1.50, about $4 to ship a media mail. That's a pretty healthy profit for a bunch of outdated media. Let me show you a couple of packing tips. So I'm gonna share three really quick uh, pretty easy packing tips with you guys in hopes that it really helps you guys out, especially to this in this arena where maybe you're just selling shoes and clothes and you're not doing hard goods. This one is pretty thin overall, so we definitely wanted to put some bubble wrap on it so it doesn't get dinged up. All we're going to do now is find a box for it. So people often ask us where we get our boxes from. The best place to get them is to get them from the recycle dumpster be behind department stores. They are constantly throwing out boxes of all sizes. So Here's one I'm just going to use. This one actually came off of us buying something off of Amazon. So this one is going to be perfectly fine. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit and fit this pot into it. And then I'm going to use craft paper around it just to make sure it doesn't move around. It's literally the same thing. It doesn't matter if you're packing a VCR, a, a pot, um, whatever it is. The objective is to make sure that it's protected and then tight inside of the packaging so as it moves and shakes around it doesn't get damaged so i'll show you how i'm going to do that and then i'll show you the video game and the cds real quick so the first part here is, is pretty obvious you've got a tape obviously the box is a bit bigger uh, than this actually i'm changing my mind now i'm going to put this in a shoe box instead because shoe boxes are not just for shoes, I'm gonna see if this will fit in here. Because it is relatively small. Yeah, look at that. So scratch that idea. We'll save this for the blender or something else. But 
There's plenty of space here, so I'm just going to use craft paper on both sides and just make sure that there's enough padding. And you can use peanuts, you can use bubble wrap, you can use old newspaper. We like using the craft stuff because it looks a little bit more professional than like magazines or newspaper. And it's relatively cheap, it's 20 bucks for um, 40 pounds of it or roughly 900 feet. And now on the other side, again, press it down, some paper. There it is. And now we always do the shake test. And if I keep shaking this, nothing in here is rattling. It's going to be perfectly fine to its destination. Next up are these CDs. All I'm going to do is I'm going to bubble wrap them all together a couple of times. I'm just going to throw them in a poly bag. There's no reason to put them in a box. It's way faster and way more efficient to throw them inside of a simple poly mailer. So let's do that. So again, I already disclosed that there might be some damage to the cases, so if one of them shows up a little bit cracked, that's perfectly fine. But it's plenty of bubble wrap. I'm just going to tape both sides. Oops. That's it, and I'm just going to throw in a poly bag. And the last piece is this video game, same exact thing. I'm just going to bubble wrap it and throw them inside of a poly bag, or you can simply use bubble mailers, find the right size for common video games. Super easy. On previous videos, we've shown you how to pack pots and pans, especially pants where you don't erect the box. You just open it, open them up as a flap, slide them in, tape around it, put in a poly bag, and then blenders. Of course, we're just going to bubble wrap each component side by side put some craft paper around it. It's pretty straightforward. Once you do one, they're all pretty easy. That's it for all the sales we have so far. Uh, it's around three o'clock on a Sunday right now. If we have more, we'll definitely come back and show you those. And then at the end of the video, we'll go through our numbers for the weekend. Two more sales last night for Sunday. So I want to include those in this video. This born leather Chaka style boots sold for $35 shipped. Really nice, uh, nice clean condition. And then this pair of buckle jeans, I'll pop it up on the screen, that sold on Poshmark. So I'm going to include these in the numbers uh, as well. Get these packed up real quick, get everything dropped off. I'll show you the numbers for the weekend next. Scratch that, one more sale. In our last video, we showed us picking this guy up for 15 bucks. Well, we listed it for sale and someone locally wanted it. We sold it for $40, so 15 into 40 no fees, no shipping. They're going to come pick it up this morning. So we're going to add that to the total as well. Two more sales that we totally forgot about that sold on Friday. I'll pop both of them on the screen. First one is this Bose. This is a tuner amplifier device. It's definitely vintage. It came in a bulk buy. We have nothing into it because we've already sold close to $2,000 in gross from it. And then this other one was this uh, new inbox phone that we picked up at the estate sale for $5. And you can see on the screen what it sold for. Definitely be on the lookout for these old devices. Any old technology in, in packaging usually has some value. So we'll add those. Numbers are next. Here are all of the numbers. Gross sales, we were just over $1,300. $1,336 in gross sales. Remember, that's the total amount that was given to us for all of the items we sold. We paid roughly $187 in fees. Cost of goods was $163. That's how much we paid for all the stuff that we sold. Shipping, we pay for all the shipping. Unless it's Poshmark, we paid $204 in shipping, which left us with a net of $782 in profit. We set aside roughly 30% for taxes. So we made $547 cash this weekend. All right, so we had one more sale come in, which is another set of CDs, which is good. Um, this is Radiohead, four CDs, so we have a dollar into it. 
hey, hey we just made another made sale. Another sale. <laughs> All right. Um, so, anyways, we'll see what that is. These four sold for twenty bucks shipped. We have a dollar into them. It'll, they'll ship for three bucks. And let's see what just sold. Hey, look at that. CDs. More CDs <laughs> sold, which is awesome. awesome. So three more CDs sold. These are Alice in Chains. I just listed them about an hour ago. Three of them sold for 16 bucks shipped. Again, 75 cents into them. So the CD lot experiment has definitely been working so far. Yeah, we've seen a lot of those actually since they've been listed. It's yeah. pretty cool. It's only been a couple of days uh, yeah. since I started listing them. So it's nice to see a lot of them go. Yeah, sure. So we've had a really slow day though overall, mm -hmm. but we're not mad about it. You know, summer, the weather's getting nicer. Summer's around the corner. Yep. That summer slowdown it does tend to happen. So maybe we're seeing the beginning of that. We're not really worried about it though. Generally, we will just keep listing and after a slow day, we'll have a busier day. Yeah. So again, we had a good weekend. We'll probably have another good week and we're just gonna keep going. Yeah, I mean, we don't share our weekly sales, but we've had a several $500 or plus dollar sales. We average over $400 in gross sales every single day. So it just happens. You have your ups and downs. It's all about the long-term average. Uh, we do want to share a couple of things that we bought. So if you watched our, our last Monday's video, we said that we'll pick random stores to support. So here's what we bought. Mona, do you want to share yours first? I got a glow-in-the-dark puzzle. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. I hopefully I, I have time to actually it's something I will actually work on myself. Uh, mm -hmm. We discovered reselling when I was pregnant and there is if you watch some old interviews, you know that Dean was watching Cincinnati Picker and I was puzzling off in a corner. So I'm a puzzle person. Uh, puzzle glows in the dark and there's a wizard on it, which is so cool. I'm really yeah. excited for that. And that was from Misty, right? Yes, uh, yeah, that was Misty Shop. So I'll uh, pop up her information over my face here as I'm talking. You can see it and you can see what Melinda bought. So if you guys haven't, go back to that video and go to the comments. There's so many people that share their stores. Mm -hmm. Support each other. That's what it is all about. So see if they have things that you need or maybe start super early Christmas shopping. Yeah. Um, I also made a purchase. I forget. Did the guy share his name? I don't think it's he Phillip. did. Is it Philip? Isn't it Philip LeBron? Yeah. Philip LeBron. Philip LeBron. Mr. LeBron. Yeah. Um, I ended up buying a toy. I'll pop it over Melinda's uh, face here. I bought this Thomas the Train toy. I'm act it's not for me. I'm actually just going to keep it until... Um, December holiday time because oftentimes there are charity drives uh, for toys especially new in packages so I'm just gonna keep it and then donate it to kids that need it I personally just don't need anything for myself I'm I have everything that I need plus um, so that's what I decided to get um, anyways uh, thank you guys for participating in that thanks for dropping all your store names uh, thanks for watching this video if you haven't uh, consider subscribing yeah. if you can click the thumbs up for us if you made it this far in the video we truly do appreciate all your support and uh, we'll do something similar in the future as far as uh, picking a store or doing some sort of giveaway or something so mm -hmm. stay yeah. tuned for that thanks see you in the next one bye everybody